Hey, Satya, how are you? Hey, Rian, I'm good. How about you? I'm pretty good myself. You know, thank you for taking the time to do this interview. I'm excited to have you at PyImageConf. I know attendees are excited as well. Um, so why don't you start just by telling us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and, and what it is that you do. Yeah, first, thank you so much. Um, it's, it's an honor to be in the conference. I'm very, very excited to be uh, part of the conference. Oh, thank you. So uh, just a little background. My name is Satya Malik, as uh, you have already mentioned. And I am uh, the founder of uh, Big Vision LLC. It's a consulting firm where we take on consulting work from clients. And we do a lot of different types of computer vision related consulting work including, you know, we do object detection kind of work, image classification, deep learning based work. Uh, and sometimes we also do uh, image reconstruction like 3D reconstruction kind of work. Anything that is related to images and videos, you want to extract information out of it, you want to do any kind of processing on it, we are there for uh, consulting. Okay. And as a side hobby, I also do uh, a blog, which is learnopencv.com. And we also have a course, Computer Vision for Faces, for that blog. And most people know me for uh, the blog part. Right. And the consulting business is just what pays the bill. <laughs> uh, and I really enjoy uh, the blog. So that's a little background. I did my PhD from University of California, San Diego in 2006. And right after my PhD, I started a computer vision company called uh, Taz. At that time, it was called Taz Inc. And now it is called Site Commerce. What we did was apply computer vision to the beauty and fashion industry. Mm -hmm. So a lot of facial stuff that you see on my blog, it was inspired by uh, my previous company. And in 2015, I stepped down as the CTO of that company. And now I'm doing this consulting and blogging full time. Excellent. So that's the little background. Yeah, so it's safe to say that you have a lot of experience in computer vision, both through your studies, through your previous projects, through your consulting, through your blog. Um, and it's also safe to say that you have a lot of experience in computer vision for faces. Would you say that's your particular area of expertise? That's right. So that is my area of expertise. Uh, but anything related to computer vision, deep learning or uh, traditional computer vision, they all fall under my area of expertise. Because when you're doing consulting, you're not just focused on one little problem. Mm -hmm. You see a variety of problems. Um, like in my consulting work, on one hand, we are working with, um, with uh, horse feces to detect parasites. Oh, in, interesting. In that. Um, and then on the other end of the spectrum, we are working with high-end fashion uh, company uh, for some classification work. So there is a very big range of uh, problems that we deal with. But yes, faces uh, are the, the, like computer vision for faces are the things that I have worked most on mm -hmm. during this time. Yeah, so you'll be at PyImageConf this year. You'll be doing um, a talk, you'll be doing a workshop. Uh, do you wanna just jump into that and discuss what people who are attending will be learning uh, at your talk and workshop? Sure. So. In the talk, it will be a more general, more broader talk on computer vision, but I will focus on the applications of computer vision for faces specifically, and why faces are so important in, um, in today's you know, applications of computer vision. Mm -hmm. But in the workshop, I will walk, walk you through very specific applications of faces, how you could use the tools that are already available to build very cool applications like uh, Snapchat built, uh, you know, more than a billion dollar company with very sm simple applications that literally you could have built in the technical part you could literally do in a month. Mm -hmm. uh, and the basic proof of concept thing, which must have got them the funding, that kind of thing can be done uh, over a weekend. And this is not an exaggeration. It is the execution afterwards, which makes a company worth a billion dollars. Sure. But um, the tools, the technical tools are not that difficult. So we will walk you through some of those uh, examples. Excellent. And I can share my screen right now and show you uh, what we are going to uh, present in the workshop. Excellent. So uh, this is basically an overview of the things that we are going to present in the workshop. So we will start with OpenCV basics. We are not going to spend a lot of time on the basics, just maybe 15 minutes on it, 
we will cover how to read images and videos and very basic stuff. But I'm assuming that most people would be already familiar with OpenCV basics. So we are going through this very quickly. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, we will cover image transformations, basic in image transformations. We will cover the affine transform and the homography. And uh, we will go a little bit into the detail uh, of what the math is, but, uh, but the whole uh, workshop is targeted towards applications. So we will see how these transforms can be used in our application. Okay. And then we will go over facial landmark detection. We will see how to use uh, facial landmark detection. And um, for this, we will use DLib. And you can see that, you know, it basically involves trying to figure out the locations of eyes, nose, mouth, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And it detects key points on the face. And once we have done that, uh, we will see how to generate a mesh using uh, these points. And the technique is called Delaunay triangulation. Uh, we will go over, you know, how to do this quickly using OpenCV. And the whole idea is that we are building um, on top of facial landmark detection, and we are introducing new uh, techniques to uh, make interesting applications. So with just these three things, we learned about, uh, we will learn about affine transform, we will learn about facial landmark detection, and we will learn about um, uh, Delaunay triangulation. Using these three things, we can actually build very cool applications. Uh, for example, face morphing is one of them. We'll, uh, we'll show how to morph you know, a tiger into Hillary Clinton and, uh, and back. Um, similarly, we can use the same set of tools to generate another cool application, and this would be face averaging. We will average faces of many precedents uh, and show how to generate this average image and what are the characteristics of this, uh, this average image. And finally, uh, one of the cool applications in Snapchat is, is face swapping. And face swapping has been a very interesting an, uh, application in computer vision for a long time. A lot of people are interested in it. A lot of people ask how to do it. And we will show how to do it in real time uh, in, in images and videos. Uh, and we will discuss various techniques that make it possible. Uh, so we will learn about seamless cloning when you do it in images. We will learn about other kinds of clone, cloning, which are fast, but not as accurate in case of videos. Okay. So uh, there is a lot that goes behind the scene that I'm not presenting in these slides because it would be too much. But, um, but the focus of the workshop is applications. So we will settle on an application and then find out how to do it. And once that is over, we will go over face recognition uh, using DLIM. And here we will go and show you how to enroll a person in a face recognition application, and then you will be able to recognize that person. Uh, if time permits, we will go over other applications uh, of faces. For example, we'll build more Snapchat filters, as you can see uh, here. And finally, again, if time permits, we will go over applications like blemish removal, the idea here is uh, retouching, like Photoshop kind of retouching. You click on a picture, a, uh, you click on a region of a picture and the blemishes are gone, uh, just like that. It's like magic. So those are the applications that we are going to cover in, uh, in the workshop. And as I, as I said, if time permits, there are a few other uh, applications that I have uh, in my, in, you know, in my pocket, I'll be ready with them. If time permits, we will go over more of them. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, this looks like a wonderful, wonderful workshop. And I know anyone who's interested in faces will get a lot of value learning from uh, computer vision for faces experts such as yourself. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sati. I really appreciate your time and you know, hopping on this call just to discuss um, your area of expertise, you know, what you've worked on and what you'll be presenting about. I know how valuable it is for a consultant as an entrepreneur. You know, if you're not, if you're not working on your business, you know, you're not, you're not making money. So I appreciate you know, the time you've taken for this. Yeah, I love doing this. <laughs> awesome.
Well, thank you, Satya. I'll, um, I'll be sure to connect with you later. And uh, if anyone from Pyramid Search has a question, you know, is, is, learn at, is learnopencv.com the best place to, to find you at? Yes, and they can also email me, S as in Sam, P as in Paul, Malik, my last name, M-A-L-L-I-C-K at learnopencv.com. Awesome. All right. See you later, Satya. Thank you.